Hi, White Cats here. Um, I want to do a video that I don't see too many people on YouTube doing. Um, I got these floppy disks, as you can see here. Different colored ones, black ones, clear ones, these ones. And I wanted to show you on one of them how to br break, why and how to break down your disks. The reason why you want to break down these floppy disks is because they're from like the 90s. This is what we used before USB sticks and USB cards and what we used before uh, data disks and CDs and stuff like that. So you can put music on there, videos, pictures, but it didn't hold a lot. And I was buying them like crazy. My dad at work had discs like these, usable ones. You delete what's on there and then you can use the rest. And these are discs that they didn't need at their at his workplace. And he made programs. That was his job out of town. And so I put all before my computer messed up um I uh took all these and put them on a data disc. So now I have them on a CD, so I don't need these anymore. And people are like, well, "Why do you throw? Why do you have to break them up to throw them away?" Well, you have to break them up to throw them away because. And I had a friend say, "Well, who's gonna waste their money and go buy a floppy, a uh, disc thing to put these in and check what's in it?" Trust me. Someone that's desperate enough to catfish and want to use your pictures to do it, or they don't like you and they want to stalk you, they will do it. And plus, if you see a random floppy disk like this, you're kind of curious what's on it. I know I would be. Just like that USB stick I found that was a security thing. I was curious. Anyways, so I put it my disk into one of these things. I thought I had a dresser drawer full of them but I guess not and you gotta be careful when you break them and not cut yourself because I've done that tonight and I'm gonna show you how to destroy these discs and I forgot one little item that you need for this so what you need for this is you need a pair of scissors okay a pair of scissors now let's move this out of the way and let's get out these discs. There's one, two, three. Okay. Let me turn them your way. Okay, what you want to do is your disc, if your disc comes out like this, and if you have your name on the disc, like your personal information, last name, whatever, you'd want to peel peel off the sides like this and peel it off to make it look like this. So let's get that disc out of the way. And it'll look like this where there's no paper or whatever. Then, now I wanted to show you that there's two different kinds. Now sometimes you can't get the paper all the way off. So you do this. You get whatever your last name or your personal information is that and just try to peel that off and if you have to you can take scissors like this and just go like that and scratch it take a mar uh, permanent marker cross out your personal information take scissors and go and I wanted to show you that the toppers are different too one has a black topper that goes like that and if you touch that black part right there it can really mess up and you can't really use it. Also, on the back, if you touch this part, mess it up, whatever, kind of like a CD, it won't work. So, there's two different. So, I was just showing you the different styles. Now, you can take this one, this gold piece is a little heavier than this one. This one's more plasticky. But we're going to take the plastic one, the clear one. And the first thing you're going to do after you take off the, your personal information on front and back is you're going to take off the front part. Just like that. 
Now make sure you are careful when you take this apart because there's this piece right here that sometimes will fly off. This is a piece that when you pull it like that, it locks it. And if nobody else knows about that little spot right there, then they can take your CD and, and destroy it. They can delete everything and whatever. And if it was open, I think it saves it. I don't know. I don't remember which way it works. But all I know is one part locks it, one part unlocks it, and then they can delete your shit. So if they don't know about that, then yeah. And plus, it's your safety so you don't accidentally delete something. But anyways, so you go in to the top part. See? I hope this isn't too dark for you. And I hope you understand. But be careful when you open it because, like I said, this will fly off. Oh, and there's a piece. Since this is clear, you can see it. There's a piece right there. That will fly off too. So I always want to do it over a table or over a trash can just for that little piece. And you just carefully just go down the line and break it. And this little Ew! 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 Like I said, be careful, it's going to cut you. But the little piece that I'm talking about is this little piece right here. Because you don't want to step on that. That will hurt. You're going to want to throw that away. Okay, back to destroying the thing until you can open the whole thing. Okay, opened it up. So it looks like this, in case you're wondering. On the inside. In case you're wondering what an inside of a floppy disk looks like now you know now I don't know if this white part is important or not but I like to just tear that off too and tear it in a couple of strands like that because I don't know how important this is to make the thing work and if somebody wanted to I don't want you to destroy it like that and then put and then they find all these pieces and they can put it back together and put it in a machine so I just like to destroy it just to be on the safe side and because it's fun to destroy things just like that and sometimes right here there's a little tab I don't know how important that little tab is but I just take it off too just to be on the safe side and then voila we got lucky and this little thing didn't pop off but I'm going to take it off just to show you what it looks like. So if you see it and wonder what it is, now you know. Now this part, you can either cut around this circle part. Yeah, you're going to need scissors to cut it. Or you can just take it off by flipping it over like this. To where it's like this. And then you just peel. And then this part's off. You set it down. And then you have just this. And then you can take your scissors just to be on the safe side in case someone knows how to make one of these and get this to work you cut it in half and then you just you don't want to just cut it like like that just straight because then they could figure out how to fix that you never know about smart people so you just cut like that different shapes and then you throw it in the garbage I would do this over a trash can or trash bag or something like that. I'm not doing that. I'm just showing you how to do it. But I would do it over a trash can. That's what I've been doing. So that is how you destroy a data disk. Or, or not a data disk. That's how you destroy a disk like this. Now, if you want to know how to destroy a DVD or a CD with personal information on there, then you can just take really good scissors, basically take your hand like this around it, so it, so it don't, so it's got fingerprints and stuff, and it won't work. And then you take your handy dandy scissors, and you just cut right in half the disc right in half for what. So you do this way, then you take the other half, do it down the middle, and then you take the other half, do it down the middle, and you got four parts and you just throw it away. 
and that's how you would do a CD. Now, if you want to even use the CDs for like a picture frame or something, you can cut out the middle part and then put a picture on one of the sides. And then, you know, just be really cool. Like I could take this and put a picture right in the middle here and make it a picture frame. And I can make the hole bigger too by cutting it. You know, there's lots of, but sometimes this happens where it breaks like that. And that's when you got to be careful not to cut yourself because I did that on one of them and cut myself so that's not good but yeah you're gonna want to destroy these for personal information now the black one that's not clear you do the same thing you just take off the this piece bada bing bada boom and then you just go down the middle break it and do everything you did just like the clear one if you have any questions just comment down below and I'll try and answer them as you, as you wish. Now, if you have VHS tapes and you want to get rid of those and it's got personal stuff on there or you don't want to just, oh, I recorded a TV show or movie on here, but now I don't want it. I just want to throw it. No, because someone could pick that up, grab it and put it in the, you know, who has a VHS player and could, because you can easily still buy those. Um... You don't want to just tape, cut part of the tape to the VCR because if you do that, then um, they can easily tape one side of that and fix it. What you want to do is you want to pull it out, cut, pull it out, cut, pull it out, cut, and break the bottom part. If you ever want to see me do that to a VHS tape, let me know in the comments down below, and if I ever find one that I want to throw away, I will make sure I make a video for you. Also, you can do the same thing with cassette tapes. You just pull out the tape part and just cut it and cut it and cut it and cut it until you can't cut no more. To, and you can also do a pull where you pull it and it gets sk and it's skinny and then you can cut it or whatever. There's a lot of things you can do with them. So, hope that's a lot of help for him. If, if you got any questions, just let me know in the comments down below. And I will be glad to assist you and help you. Until then, um, later haters. Ha have a nice night.